different is John's habit of not just saying, Hi, how are you? But instead, taking the time to get into deep, impromptu discussions with all level of employees, and importantly, acting on their feedback, rather than telling them he'll consider it and moving on. One interesting observation John made right up front was that he felt we had maybe been too intent on driving the brand as opposed to the business. Having observed what we were doing for years through the eyes of a competitor, he told me, and I wrote it down in my notebook, that he felt the brand image we had developed was misrepresenting some of the airline's richest qualities. By this, he meant that the kind of party central super laid back image that Virgin Blue had developed in Australia had led to a lot of potential customers, particularly older, more straight laced business flyers, failing to see us as a serious enough player to be deserving of their business. Funnily enough, this was exactly the same identity crisis we once had to confront at Virgin Atlantic many years earlier when we were initially perceived as the rock and roll airline. Conversely, John also, quite bravely, I thought, expressed